We find Joe at the top of this episode grappling with the failure of Comet. He's lost a lot. He's, he's lost Gordon, he's lost Cameron, and, and lost this business venture too. So it's a Joe who's kind of in a malaise. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you open? Or? It's like this very surreal kind of sequence of events that happens to him, like a dream. Destruction? Destruction. Yeah, commonly. Joe's like, yeah, that's my life. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't have put it better if I tried. Not necessarily, because you see this golden horizon behind the storm clouds. I think Joe is presented with a lot of signs and symbols, and the question is, how will he interpret them and what will he turn them into? Hello? Hey, it's me. Hey, what's going on? I, is everything okay? Can I just tell you something? <laughs> Joni finally calls and wants to talk to Donna from her trip in Thailand. And the story that Joni shares is about this really beautiful experience she had that makes her understand and accept Gordon's death. And when I put my forehead to the mud, I thought about Dad. <gasps> but he was still with me. It's a gift for Donna to have that affection and vulnerability from her daughter, this really beautiful insight about carrying people with you. I think maybe you and I were actually pretty similar and maybe that's why we like, fight all the time. <laughs> for the audience, we get the sense that Joni's gonna be okay and that these two are also going to be all right. The calling card is running out, I love you mom, bye. <laughs> I wanted to uh, thank you guys for coming out tonight. <laughs> you guys, see what we're up against? The Donna of the finale is in a really good place. You know, she has this party for women in tech. She gives this kind of beautiful, inspired speech. I've been in tech for 18 years. I've won. And I've lost. Cameron stays long enough to see what the party is that Donna's throwing. I am a woman who voted her female partner out of her own company, the company she founded. She takes responsibility for a lot of her mistakes in a very public way. People like my last and best partner, Cameron Howe. And then she asserts the beauty of this dream about working together and about lifting all of the boats. I am so proud to be on this journey with you. We then, I think, in a really unexpected way, get to see these characters come back together and play out what their future could be. You remember our first week at Phoenix? Just you, me, and that one guy we hired out of Cal Poly. Donna has this moment where she sees the future. She has like the lightning bolt of an idea, and she tries to keep it in, and she can't do it. Cameron. What is it? I have an idea. And if it's an idea that they can both like really feel passionately about, then I think that can be such a transcendent way for them to partner. Joe landed in a role that is suitable. Doesn't feel like another twist for him and this is where he will finish his life. I think we see a guy who is humble at the end, but in a way that doesn't suggest loss, in a way that suggests victory. It feels like he's really settled down at the end and is able to walk into that classroom and connect with the people in front of him in the present moment. Something that was always incredibly difficult for him, but this entire 10-year journey has allowed him to learn the ability to do that. Let me start by asking a question. 